to start out, we didn't break it. Somebody else broke it when we lent it out for them. This is our Starlink cord. Uh, it, we did a little bit of a patch job that didn't quite work the way we wanted it to. And we're going to show you now how we're going to go about make it, fixing it right. The things we're going to need while we do this is a Cat6 junction box that we'll show you a, a, a link to, the Am, uh, in, to Amazon for it. And this is a push down tool to push the wires down into the junction box. That'll also be a, a link for that for the and you'll see that it's a lot cheaper to buy the tool in the in this box to fix this than it is to buy another whole um another whole cable. You're gonna need a screwdriver, a small Phillips screwdriver. I've got this just in case, and we got some wire strippers. Examining after we did the after did this place, I see a little bit of a ding down in, farther in the cable, so I'm going to cut down past that, go down a little bit or farther far past it, and cut it off. Uh oh, no turning back now. We'll come back down here and do the same thing. Okay, now what you want to do is there's the um the outer sheathing. You want to cut back about three inches on that. Now you just want to score the outside of it. So that you can script it down. There is another tool that you could purchase if you wanted to to buy to get the thing to go. But that's why I brought the, the razor knife just in case. Now you don't want to go too deep and cut into the, the wires underneath. There's a sheathing inside also. You'll see a foil sheathing once we get it opened up. Be careful you don't cut your thumb or anything like that. And that's what it looks like when you open it up. You have the foil, you can pull it back, and you can see that there's four twisted pairs. Okay, you can bring this back. Then also you have what they call a rip wire that's in there. That's supposed to be so that you can pull the, pull back and rip the, this back. But it, we, we can also use it as a ground. So we're going to cut that back to, or leave that like that. And we can cut this stuff off. We'll do the other one now twisted pairs what I'm talking about with the twisted pairs you'll see it looks like that there's a a, a white twisted with the um, each one of the individual colors if you separate those what you'll find out is one is white and brown one is just brown and you have to separate them just like that show the, show the brown. And we'll do the same thing with all all um, all four of them, just like that. I'm going to set this cover off to this side, so you can see there's a pattern on the top of the cover, and that's what we're going to try to do. Okay, we'll follow the B, well, I... the one that's up on the top, and basically that's just for the orange and the green wires. The um, brown and the blue wires remain the same to whichever side you do it. You have to make sure that you do the same pattern on both sides, or if you don't, then you've got a, a crossover cable, and you don't want to have that. The push-down tool that we have, what this thing does is it pushes the wires down into place. It'll push your wires down into place and trim them off. This tool is pretty much the most expensive part of the whole project. It's on Amazon, and I believe with the box and the tool, it came to a little bit, right around $30. We bought a new cable just in case we weren't successful in doing this. We'll use the new cable for what we're doing, and if something ever happens to that one, we have a backup to use in the meantime. In our handy-dandy little kit, we have this copper tape that we're going to wrap around the bottom. You can see I took that little rip wire and trimmed it down so that it and folded it down this way. We're going to take this little this little copper tape that we have. We're going to put it right up around it and fit it all the way around just like that. And now that'll fit down inside of the 
inside of the box just like it, it is here. So now what we're going to do is push that into place. And we're going to clamp this a little bit. I'm not clamping it all the way down. I just clamp, clamping it a little bit so that it holds it while I do this. I'll probably do it start so you can see what we're doing and then we'll jump off. But you see, we've got a white brown for number seven and spot seven. So we're gonna pull that wire into there like that. Then we have a brown and that'll go into that one right here like so. Just like that. Then you see we have a blue is the next wire that goes in. That'll fit down in there. Then we have the white blue. Now we take our punch down tool. And this is exactly why we're doing what we got it for. So it's just like that. Let me do this and there it did it. I made an adjustment on on the tool so that we could get it to cut because it put, was pushing it down but wasn't trimming it off. So now we'll go ahead and do the next one over. And this is what it looks like when one side is all in place. You can see that each individual wire has been pushed down in and snipped off at the back end. And now I'll go ahead and do the other cable. Okay, now we have both set both cables pushed down into our little coupler box. You take the coupler box, put it back on top. Put the screw in it and tighten it up. They give us these little zip ties. And on the bottom you can see the holes. You can slip this up through this way. Put it back around through the other hole. And that helps keep your or keeps the wires from being pulled out of the, the coupler box. I'm going to probably wrap this and to protect it from any weather. Um, there are boxes that you can buy, the inline boxes that it can clamp over the time but that, that you can find on Amazon also. Okay, so there you have it. It wasn't really all that hard. This is being the first time that I've done this type of cable and using this tool. It took me a little bit longer and we didn't bore you with me cussing and making a, a, a mess of everything. If you like this kind of video, Give us a thumbs up, leave some comments down below, and if you have any other questions, please ask them. We'll talk to you the next time.